Hey Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is for August through the beginning of September. General reading, remember, not all general readings will resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So let's see what does Scorpio have going on for the month of August. First half, second half, and then a sneak peek at September. So right off the bat in August, you're dealing with some trust issues. Either someone doesn't trust you, you don't trust them, you don't trust a situation, you've been burned before in this situation. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be in business, afraid to take a leap of faith. Look for a sign whether or not you should take that leap of faith, whether or not you should move forward and whatever plans or ideas you had in mind. If this is a trust issue in a relationship and you're afraid of the past repeating itself, Speak clearly. Talk to each other. Come to an agreement as to why, an understanding as to why things didn't work out. Because it's up to you where things go from here. So let's clarify this. So what does Scorpio have going on for the first part of August? Let's see... Tell me about these trust issues. <laughs> right off the bat, these cards are going crazy. There was a relationship or a partnership. One person was given more than the other, and it was a toxic relationship. There was no equal give and take, and it almost felt as though the more I give, the more they take, vice versa. But it never felt like you were meeting each other halfway. I get the sense that you kept trying your best to keep offering them your love, a commitment. I don't get the sense of commitment actually, especially with this page of wands, but it was more about appeasing them, telling them that you were willing to do your part, but obviously when you don't do your part, things fall apart, it crumbles. Okay, Scorpio, what have you been up to? That Seven of Swords came out with the King of Cups. So there is some deception around you, whether caused by you, created by you, or someone around you. And I say, Scorpio, you have a hand in this deception. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Tower card is the Scorpio card. These three came out back to back. So whatever deception was going on, sneaking around behind someone's back, someone was sneaking around behind your back that just made your home fall apart, your business. You feel as though you were working on something. If this isn't a relationship, but this is business, there was something that you were working on that you felt that there was a payout here that didn't happen because somebody came and took your swords away, left you unarmed, and just brought everything down in your stable environment, or you were trying to build a stable environment. See, because, and I say that because the tower, it's not built on a stable environment. You just kept trying to build and build and build and build. But when it's not on a stable environment, it falls apart. So if you were trying to make, if you were trying to make an honest business opportunity after it had started not being in an honest situation. Maybe there was some sort of corruption. Maybe there was some sort of deception when it came to, you know, or manipulation when it came to business and love relationship. Maybe this relationship wasn't meant to be a relationship, but just something more recreational, right? And we got the, the devil and the page of wands, sex only. And then one more, one person was giving more than the other. Somehow there ended up being feelings here. So in business, I feel as though there was some manipulation. Somebody 
somebody did this to you, you did this to somebody, uh, there is deception around you. That's why things aren't, that's why things aren't coming together for you. Tell me about this trust. If this was, look at that. If this is in a relationship, yeah. You were saying what needed to be said, but at the same time, you were going to do whatever the hell you wanted anyway. You didn't want to fight for this. You just wanted to seem like this was something you wanted. You were up all night, or maybe you had them up all night with this trust issues. You came across as though you did want something more stable, and in reality, you didn't. It was almost as though you were telling them what they wanted to hear. I do feel a sense of guilt to a certain degree because it didn't stop you from what you were doing. You knew you were still doing somebody some wrong. However, in business, I feel as though that became your karma. In personal relationships, you may have done somebody wrong, and in business, somebody did you wrong. You can't help but wonder whether or not you should put all this deception and shadiness, manipulation behind you. Yet you feel like you're tied to this toxic situation. You've accepted that this is who you are already. But the more you accept this, the more you realize that it's not going to allow you to move forward no matter how much you want to move forward. So King and Queen of Cups. We do have a lot of emotions here. A lot is going on to an extreme. These trust issues run deep. You've learned who not to trust. And for a Scorpio to trust, it takes so much for a Scorpio to finally feel assured that they can trust someone. And so if this is in business, they go in very hesitant with one foot in, one foot out. You must look for a sign of how to move forward from this, how to find your balance. You want that financial offer business opportunity you have been planning and contemplating you have practically been planning your celebrations how all this hard work of yours was going to help you move ahead that you no longer had to juggle two jobs two opportunities two choices but there are secrets here that need to be revealed you're hoping they don't come out because it will harm your chances of creating something here, whether this is in business or in love. Financially, materialistically, you may feel imbalanced or this may be an earth sign that you're dealing with that maybe that is the partner that is feeling imbalanced from this situation, the trust issues. And so it's up to you where you go from here. It's up to you where you go from here. You have plenty of options and choices. They don't all seem like valid choices. Some of them look like a waste of time and some of them look like why even bother taking a glance at them. But I get the sense that you feel as though the more the merrier. Seven options, let's make it 10. Let's make it 20 because then I'll never run out of options because options is what you kind of feel safe as though those are all your backup plans. And so if this is in love and you may be speaking to, flirting with, talking to, hanging out with several different people, you seem to always have a circle of three around you. One that you're more interested in the other, but one is always a backup. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this doesn't make you feel good. Again, if this is an earth sign Virgo, at the end of the day, this doesn't make you feel good. You know that this behavior has got to stop. This not only causes other people's nightmares, it causes your own abundance blocks. Why? Because you know 
that doing this on a personal level affects your abundance on a business level. You can't think clearly. You can't move forward clearly. Your judgment is clouded. You sink further into isolation. You want to block everyone out. You want to give up on this business opportunity because you're keeping busy with all those seven options. It only leaves you confused and depressed and isolated. And the more isolated you become, the harder it is to move forward in a more optimistic way by creating your own path, by starting something new, by leaving it all behind and saying, fuck this, I deserve better. Yes, I fucked up in the past. Yes, they fucked me over in the past. I deserve to be happy, damn it. And I think you're starting to realize that all those seven options are not exactly what you had intended for yourself because you start thinking about the future and how you're going to move ahead with three options, three choices, three people. You have three different options here. Women, men, jobs, homes, careers, opportunities. Three different business partners because it's three different business opportunities. You think you can handle all three and move forward. But this guy's not looking at the three of wands. He's looking beyond the three of wands. He's holding on to these three of wands because they're a stepping stone. They are his clutch. This is what will catapult him into the new beginning. It's temporary happiness and you're willing to settle for it. So that is the realization that comes to you first half of August. Let's see what we have going on here for the second half of August since we're pretty much there. I know I'm late with the readings. Sorry about that, Scorpio. Second half of August. Let's see. If you believe, if you believe that you this is the way you were meant to live. If, this, if you believe that you don't deserve abundance, if you believe you don't deserve success, if you believe that you don't deserve love, or maybe you believe that you deserve all seven options and damn it, they're all going to be yours and they're all going to have to live with it. You need to have some recovery take place here because this can turn into a codependent issue if you have drug issues, addiction issues. It's time for you to recover because in the near future, you've got things that are coming to you that cannot move forward until you begin to recover from what has been holding you back. Because I do feel as though this sense of codependent issues of needing to have more than one option because you see it as a safety net. Well, it didn't work out with that one, but guess what? It might work out with the next one. Well, I always have that other girl or that other guy. Yeah, you know, you're just not willing to let them go. And, you know, I'm not saying that you're sleeping with all of them or you're leading all of them on. Could be as something as simple as you've got a work wife right? Somebody that you flirt with at work and it's never been anything but that. But you know in the back of your mind that it probably could be one day. Maybe it's, you know, mutual friends. Maybe you're recently single and you thought you'd, you know, try dating for a bit. You realize you've got so many people interested in you and so you want to kind of keep them all around because you have a need for their attention. So if you believe, <laughs> if you believe that you are meant to be with three people and that's how it should be because you want a polyamorous relationship, an open relationship, well then, if that's what's meant for you and your partners are okay with it, keep going. I'm not judging. I, have, I think I had a card flip up. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I thought I did. 
So let's keep going, Scorpio. Maybe your wish is to have an open relationship. Maybe you are in love or serious about one person, but you want something that's more open, something that suits your needs. But you know that it weighs heavily on you or this potential partner because maybe what they want is something more traditional. Maybe this is how it affects you in business and finance. You want to manifest. You want to manifest these new job opportunities, right? Because now I see that you want nothing more but to drop the weight, the stress at work. You want to take on three different career, financial, business opportunities. You feel as though you've got the Midas touch right now. You can make anything happen. You've been working your ass off, but somehow it's coming way too slow for you, slower than you had expected. You're ready to celebrate, but why? Why isn't that job offer? Why isn't that money coming in? What is going on? Well, you're too busy with some bullshit you're entertaining. You're entertaining bullshit, and so you're not fully invested in your financial future. So how can you expect on things to work out for you when you're busy with them seven options? Right, Scorpio? <laughs> oh my goodness, let's see. If you believe, if you believe that no matter how hard you work and stress that you put into a job, it's not going to pay out. Well, guess what, Scorpio? It's not. So put an end to that thinking, to that mentality, right? Because it doesn't serve you. That is what you need to cut out. Your hasty decision making that you get so emotional, emotional, you just want to charge in, do something about it. You need to recover emotionally, mentally, physically. If you have addictions and codependencies, it's time that you do right by you. It's time to find some balance in your life. This can also be perhaps you have a Libra partner in your life. Maybe you need to recover from a painful divorce, painful breakup between a Libra or a Gemini. I do feel air sign here. Unless you have some drinking problems that you just can't shake. You told yourself, I won't drink more than three and then here comes another one. Bartender or friend or somebody buys you a drink and you're like, it's okay. No man. It's cool, bro. Can't have another one. Nope. Nope. I'm trying to cut back. Right? So what? Own your fucking truth. If you know that you need to cut back on your drinking in order to be successful, what the fuck are you waiting for, Scorpio? Seriously. If you know that there's shit that you need to cut out that's toxic for your growth, that's holding you back. What are you waiting for? I have like the need to pull cards from the rebel deck for you because I'm feeling like a sense of frustration. It's like, you know what you need to do to move ahead and then you get there and it's like you get cold feet and then you pull back. It's as though you only go in when you have adrenaline. Then when you fall on your face because you couldn't follow through. I'm sorry I'm being hard on you, Scorpio, but this this feels as though, and I'm feeling really agitated. I'm feeling really frustrated. I feel as though this is what you've been feeling. And maybe you don't want to see what your part in this is. Because I want to tell you that there's hope here. There is a chance at healing from the self-sabotage behavior, the self-destructive behavior. Cut back on the drinking, quit if you can, seek professional help. You need to recover. 
You need to heal from failed partnerships, failed relationships, failed business opportunities. You need to recover because in the near future, that communication is going to come in and you're going to have the opportunity to make that happen once again. You will have an opportunity, a second opportunity at making happen what, what, what you weren't able to make happen before. And now the queen of pentacles is upright instead of in reverse, which means if you were dealing with this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, earth sign, business partner, um, maybe they were a financial backer, maybe it was a relationship that just didn't work out in the near future, you have an opportunity to speak your truth, to own your truth, to be victorious, to heal from the situation and come together with someone, you know, have a second opportunity at, at getting back together with them, at working on different angles as to how you're going to build this new financial opportunity, career, business opportunity. It's all going to happen in the near future. As soon as you get off the damn floor, because these swords got you hurt. But I don't feel as though that somebody did this to you, Scorpio. I really don't. I feel as though this is the disappointment that you've put yourself through. And Scorpio, if you, I'm going to be serious right now. I have to take a deep breath for you, Scorpio, because... There's a Scorpio here who needs help. You feel like giving up on everything, on life. I'm going to put in suicide hotline in the description box below. Please, please get the help that you need. Talk to somebody. Seek a professional professional, medical professional, okay? Someone that can help you. Because I get the sense that at one point or another, if it hasn't happened yet, nothing was working out for you no matter how hard you tried. And this is how it made you feel. That you just didn't even want to get up. Find your balance. Seek the assistance of others. Do not, do not, Scorpio, I'm going to say it again. Do not turn away the help of others. If someone is going out of their way to want to help you, whatever it may be, financially, emotionally, medically, with therapy, however it may be, don't you dare turn them away. You know you need the help. You know you need to stabilize yourself. Find yourself a community that you can thrive in. Surround yourself by people who share the same dreams as you, who share the same goals as you, who are not in a toxic environment. Because if you are in a toxic environment, you cannot thrive in it. You set yourself back to the point of giving up. This card, I'm telling you, I don't feel as though any of you were backstabbed and betrayed. I feel that this is just, I'm done. That's you saying, I'm done with life. I give up. And I am so sorry you're feeling that way, Scorpio. Because I can definitely feel a sense of wanting to give up. Not wanting to put any effort in this situation. In your life. In business. In your love life. In your partnerships. Business or otherwise. Please get the help that you need Scorpio please. Look at all these cards are going crazy. Forgiveness came out. Forgive yourself, please. That 
negative, I feel it like you're in a downward spiral of negativity and you can't seem to pull yourself out of it. Meditation brings answers. You know what you need to do. And the minute you start meditating and trying to connect with your higher self is when you'll know you'll be ready to move forward. You'll be able to make that shift come the beginning of September. Whether someone comes in to help you with meditation, with forgiveness, with guidance. This got really heavy, really fast, Scorpio. Self-destructive, self-sabotage, self-inflicted. Forgive yourself for making hasty decisions, emotionally hasty decisions. Okay? Three of Cups. There are three or more people in this situation. Knock it down to two. I know you're guarded. I get it. You feel as though having that third person is almost like a safety net. But in the end, you still feel left out in the cold. Two, three, four. It's not enough for you, right? You know why? Because you need to find the happiness within. You need to heal. You need to get help for your situation. Because if you don't, this is the asshole card, right? Doesn't give a shit who he hurts as long as he gets what he wants. And you have two fives here. So it is time for a huge, huge change in your life. No matter how much you want to push people away, to leave you alone, to let you live your self-destructive life, stop turning people away. You know that meditation brings answers because, excuse me, when you meditate, you get answers, right? Look at this card, Hanged Man Reverse. There, there are so many parts to this. Take the time to listen to yourself and to why you have yourself in this self-imposed prison. The only one speaking such negative, such negativity to you is you. You are doing this to yourself. The temperance card with the hanged man in reverse. What do they have in common? You need to meditate. And the wisdom, the ideas, the healing, it all comes to you. You feel imbalanced, but you will find your balance. You will be able to get up and move forward and leave these toxic, this toxic mentality, this negative mindset, this feeling of, well, why can't I have all of these? No, you know what it causes? Confusion. Because everyone is expendable. And when you think that way, so are you. There's the three again. As much as you want to move forward victoriously and charge ahead, you really need to get help with dealing with this situation. And my guess is I, you already know what it is. And if you need to meditate as much as you can to come across those answers, then do it. Because when you come across those answers, you will be ready. You're ready for what the future comes the future brings ahead this is for the beginning of september so what is scorpio ready for at the beginning of this of september maybe they finally feel emotionally balanced maybe they finally feel like they can feel vulnerable with someone that they trust maybe they know that it's time they let go of the juggling act juggling two jobs two situations two relationships when you juggle two or more people, that's how tumultuous your life gets and your relationships. So 
So if you are ready to let go of that juggling act, if you're ready to just be with only one person or whatever open relationship idea that you and your partner have, understand that the juggling act will bring about problems. King of Pentacles, you can manifest whatever it is you want in the future. The love you want, the abundance you want, the business you want, the finances you want, you can. Look at that. When I said the finances you want, yes, Ten of Pentacles. Big business right here. Big bonus, big raises, new job, new opportunities come in for you. And I say this because... Remember, King of Pentacles, he knows his shit around all these pentacles. He's the guy with all the business plans. He's the guy that knows how to make this financial future a possibility and this romantic relationship because this is someone that you have felt very spiritually tied to, divinely guided. You feel so attached to them and you can't let them go, but how can you build on anything with them when you've got all this craziness going on? And so if you're feeling emotionally imbalanced, then I'm going to say it, there's some Scorpios here who may be manic, who may be, you know, bipolar, who need to get that in check. There's nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Get the help that you need. Give yourself, forgive yourself. First of all, forgive yourself and then give yourself the freedom to love yourself. When you love yourself, all the bullshit that life throws at you, yeah, it might hurt from time to time. However, When you love yourself, you allow for other things to fall into place. Scorpio, if you believe recovery and in the near future, look for a sign, trust, it's up to you. Forgiveness, meditation brings answers and you're ready. And those are your cards for August into the beginning of September and to close out this reading is a card from Messages from Your Angel's Deck. From Angel Unicorn Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. And so you've gotten, like I said earlier, you have felt the need to keep charging ahead, but no matter how much work you put into something, it always seems to fall apart. This is a karmic cycle that you need to put to an end, but you can't until you face the cycle that you're in. When you acknowledge the karmic cycle that you are consistently repeating, things aren't working out for you. Why? Why? Ask yourself why. What is holding you back? Is it the past? Is it deceptive behavior from your past? Is it criminal behavior from your past? Whatever it may be, traumatic behavior. It has blocked you in all areas of abundance. Your happiness only seems temporary because you cannot fully immerse yourself in a loving relationship with yourself, with others, feeling as though you can charge ahead. Scorpio, I know this is not for everyone, so I'm sorry if this doesn't, it doesn't resonate with everyone. Well, actually, no, I kind of don't want it to resonate with everyone. This seems very specific to a few Scorpios. You don't need to continue in a pessimistic path. Get the help that you need. Find your balance. Get the healing done. Charge ahead. Move forward. You got people knocking you down? Don't take no for an answer. You've worked too hard. 
Keep pushing for recovery. Keep pushing for that abundance. At the end of the day, it's about you and finding your happiness, finding your joy, finding your balance with integrity, Scorpio. That was your reading for the month of August and beginning of September. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit that little bell. I'll be sending out the love readings shortly. Take care. Bye.